I don't think we really heard Ash good enough, did we? Wait a second, Ash, alone, alone, riding superstars, go. <laughs> Hi, riding superstars. Lana, go on. <laughs> Hi, riding superstars. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to have to be a thing, guys. Send us in videos of you doing that as well. I love it. So this is my friend Ash, who originally was YouTube subscriber, but I do have this thing that um, I fall in love with the, my YouTube followers. So Ash and I are now in love and has been here a few times for a ride, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Ash's dream has always been to ride Wessel. Um, but when did you get your first win through us? It was last year sometime, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so Wessel wasn't ready for um, having people ride him yet. Wes, please come down, good boy. So um, this has been a little bit the dream and Ashley's get to do her dream today. So let's kick on. Very, very much. This is like we did with the other rides. We don't know what's going to happen. We're just going to keep rolling. And I'm just going to let Wessel teach Ash. We'll see how Ash goes, see how Wes goes. And then we'll just see if we can hopefully make um, Ash's dream come true, which is the... Um, some fancy trot work. So we'll see how we go. So we're just going to see what we end up with. Okay, so remember guys, don't forget in the month of April, we are giving away 500 pounds, 500 pounds to you guys just participating. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you click that button and comment anywhere in any video in April, just what you learned. And from that, someone's going to win 500 pounds plus we've got other prizes like DMA memberships etc it's going to be amazing so don't forget about that okay and let's get in to watching Ashy do the whistle do the whistle do the whistle okay if it's shaking that's because uh, my camera man is laughing a lot right let's get into it So guys, this is a really cool episode. What Ash wanted to do is her big goal is to do a second trot. And in order to do the second trot, we need to under make sure that she can do a good forward canter first. And you'll see that she gets really stuck, really stuck to the point where actually one way, we don't think it's even gonna happen. We think we might not be able to get it. And what you'll see is how she goes from that like really stuck, scary, oh my God, I can't do it moment, to instantly, boom, being able to do it and even getting one 10 piece accidentally, but it doesn't matter, they're still there. <laughs> and what this is all about today really in essence is actually how to ride a line, how riding those train tracks, that one rein, being a bit of a tinkerbell up the top, understanding what your pelvis does and what, your, um, what movements your hips should do for each pace actually makes such a difference to the way the horse goes, okay? And what happens, the more we get stressed and the more it's not working, the more we do all of these other things, clamping down, etc., which don't solve it. So this is a really real life scenario that I think so many of my viewers will be able to relate to. And um, thanks so much, Ashy, for letting us all see it because this is stuff that's really, really gonna help you. So again, when you're watching this, guys, mindset, what am I looking at? How train tracks and my position actually affect everything. Hope you enjoy it. All right, lovely. So what I want you to do is I want you just to think, don't put pressure on him, okay? So don't think, oh my gosh, I'm riding a Grand Prix horse. Just relax. And if you feel like he stops or anything like that, just take a little bit of the pressure off and ask in more of a bumpy sort of way okay. versus a pressured way. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? And then what I want you to think is when you're going up that wall, this wall, I want you to visualise that you've got one big rein that goes through his mouth into each hand and that you have to keep both sides of that one rein even. Does that make sense? Yeah. So even when you go around a corner, Ashy, don't do this. Okay. Yeah? So make sure that as you go around a corner, if you watch me now, you're in a straight line. I do a corner, nothing changes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Or I do this. You don't want to do that, okay? Okay. So just picture that as you turn. That's better. So if you're feeling it might even feel counterflexed. And yep. then you'll see a little bit, you'll feel that your, your feet are going forward a little bit. Just try to think I'm standing on the ground 
And if you stand up in the saddle now, that's it. And then pop your pelvis like that. So spin it so it's like that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you feel that? Yeah. And then do that again. Stand up in the saddle and then spit your pelvis under. It's all right. If you stop him, I'll help you. So if you stand up in the saddle and then put your pelvis, that, oh, but stay up if you can. Put your pelvis under. That's it. There. Okay. And there. And then don't move your leg. Now try and stay, keep there. Okay. And the way you stay there is to keep that weight in your feet. Okay, so now when you want to go forward, your instinct will be to tilt forward a little bit and kick, to stay tall and then think tall and take your leg out a bit. So tall, leg out, and then you can close it again if it doesn't work. Ah, that's it. So you feel like you can do less? Yeah. How's that feel? Good. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then when you're ready, you can just come around the short side and then you go from F to E to change the rain, okay? Okay. Yeah, that's super. So there, guys, you saw that Ash was tilting a little bit forward and her legs were coming forward as well. Remember that what your shoulders are doing are a symptom of your hips. So that's why we've got her to stand up in a saddle because then she gets the idea of standing on the ground, 80% of weight through your legs, then tilt her pelvis forward, then sit up, and then all of a sudden her body's in the right way. So remember, when you lean forward, this is the symptom not the cause. The cause is here. Okay. Yeah, good job, lovely. How are you feeling? Good. You feel safe? Yeah, I feel safe. Yeah? Yeah. Now, especially here, really think about your reins, that they're even. So think all the time that you've got both reins exactly the same. That's it. And with your inside rein, do you feel a little bit how he sort of feels like he's going to drift in a bit all the time? Yeah. If you put your rein a little bit closer to his neck, then he's a little bit more inclined to know where you want him to be. So you'll make, that's better. Do you feel that? Yeah. Because otherwise, if you open your rein like this, if you think about all of his weight needs to be even in both of his feet, he actually starts to go like this. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? So think, when you're riding around, how are my reins affecting the weight in his feet? So at the moment here, he's bent a bit like this. Do you feel that? Yeah. So if you close your right rein onto his shoulder a little bit, that's better. There you go, try there. That's yeah. a bit too fast. So find the balance between that and keep your reins even still. Yeah, how's that? Is that better? Yeah. Very good, lovely. Yeah, that's super. All right, sweetie. Now, you're going to find this a little bit of a strange feeling for me to ask you to do. But you're going to find canter a little bit easier in the beginning, okay? Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to get you to do is you're going to struggle a little bit to find the walk to canter straight away. So what I want you to do next corner, and you can do it in this corner here, trot for one step, and then as soon as you trot, pop into canter, okay? okay. Just do it in your own way and we'll see what happens. We're now canter. Good girl! That's okay. And walk again. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. You're Walk. doing good. You're doing good. <laughs> now, don't worry that his tongue pops out a little bit. When you've got a when you've got a horse that's learning the ropes a bit, he's going to he's some horses are naughty if you get it wrong. That's Wessel's version of naughty. <laughs> <laughs> so don't you worry if you see that out the corner of your eye, sweetie. It's just his version of I don't quite understand. Okay, lovely? Mm -hmm. So now, when you ask for canter and you feel he goes back to the trot, you've just got to think a little bit where you're going, okay? okay? So when you're cantering this corner, do it the same way and think once you're cantering to go a little bit more forward for a couple of steps. That's okay. Try again. And outside leg back, pop. Hop. Okay, you got it. Now keep riding. That's okay. That's okay. Good girl, go to walk again, and then you can pop to canter from walk. He'll do it now. Outside leg back, pop. Good girl, now think. That's okay. Ah. <laughs> Have a little walk rest and I'll talk to you about it. Hey, you got your fancy trot there, love. <laughs> Come on in here and I'll talk to you about what the problem is, okay? So, your aid is correct. Mm -hmm. Good job, you, okay? Because notice he's getting on the correct lead. He's not running. Um, so you've got the raid right. So it means that as the outside hind comes through, you're putting your leg on at the right moment, okay? The reason why he's not quite sure what's going on is because actually your seat isn't telling him, okay? okay? So your seat is actually saying trot. 
<laughs> so when you say trot, trot's up and down in your seat. When you say canter, it's forward, okay? okay? So what I want you to do just for your feeling, because to find it, is as soon as you feel canter, then I want you to go for, for your feeling, a little bit of a gallop. Okay. okay. And the way you do that is you can be a bit stupid about it to get the feeling. Thrust. <laughs> yeah. So when you're cantering, get in and go like this. Yeah. It, it, we don't want it to be that. But at the moment, you're just quite rigid. So he thinks, is that a trot? Is that a, you've asked for trot canter in the, in the leg aids. Then your legs have gone back to passive, which is all correct. But then your seat is saying please keep trotting. And that's where you're getting that trot transition. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So go the same way, because I think it's easier for you. Good job. And you can even canter now towards the wall if you like. And then just when you hit the wall, think go, now think go. That's okay. Try again. Oh, now just go to trot, because otherwise, because you just get a little confused. It's all right. <laughs> that's okay. Now this is about taking the pressure off. So take the pressure off. Pretend you're on a trail ride, go back to the wall. That's it. And this is what I said about horses when they're Grand Prix horses, you're putting the pressure on, yeah? Mm -hmm. So now you've got all this leg and you're pressuring and then you're going sideways like you weren't before. Yeah. Just think, stop your leg, drop your leg off, that's it. And then steer him with your front. Just don't put your leg on, that's it. Now ride him like you were before with your train tracks, but don't put pressure on your legs. That's it. And if you do want to juice your legs, just use them once like this, boom, together. There you go. Play the front, uh, boom, there you go. You feel that? Boom, yeah, that's it, sweetie. Do you feel that, lovely? Yeah. Now just keep playing that. Find your train tracks again. Now you'll see, guys, what happens when we start to sort of lose the idea. And what Ash just said there always happens is when we start to lose the idea of what's happening, we start to pressurise. And that's why she was getting all of these different things because the horse is saying, oh, what do I want to do? Remember, two legs means forward. And in this moment, that's all you actually need. Doing that, isn't it amazing? Right guys, so what this lesson really is about is actually just about writing your lines, understanding where the horse needs to go and how your body affects that. So watch this Zoom meeting here, and this is with my Dressage Mastery Academy members, and it's so nice that these guys are letting you see this. They pay for this, they pay to talk to me um, every day on Zoom, we've got 40 hours a week, it's crazy. But these are some real life questions from real life people all over the world around things that are similar that Ash is doing today. So watch this and then we'll get back into Ash's lesson, okay? So when he when he does has a speedy canter or no canter and you can't do circles and corners, that was you, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's all just be due to balance. Mm -hmm. So if you imagine, we already discussed that he's like this all the time, then you canter. Some of the time he's got no feet on the ground. A lot of the time he's only got one leg on the ground. That's why he breaks, not because he's lazy or not because of anything else, but because he just can't do it. Yeah. So he's, he's unbalanced, he'll fall over ultimately. Yeah. And that's why he goes fast because he's trying to use speed to help him, some centrifugal force, hold him up. Yeah. So the answer is, is just do two meters. So what okay. I would do is I would go straight line wall. Leg yield half a circle in trot. Okay. Yeah. In the leg yield, strike canter. As soon as he canters, leg yield back to trot. Okay. Okay. Up the wall, no message, just straight up the wall. Mm -hmm. Two letters down the track, leg yield off the wall into a circle. You understand what I mean by that? Yep. 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 Halfway through the circle, while you're still giving a bit the leg yield aid, because that'll push him onto the outside hind leg, ask for canter. Let him canter for a second he, he starts cantering, just leg yield back to trot. Okay. So what because, do you mean by leg yield back to trot? So just keep the leg yield aid going all the time. I'd, but and then but ask him to, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so when you want to go back to trot, if you just make the leg yield steeper, he'll trot. Okay, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. And you just build on that. Does he go into canter fairly easily? Not yesterday. <laughs> um, he normally does. He's normally pretty 
pretty snappy off, off the eaves, yeah. Perfect. If you struggle, you just need to, when you turn the leg yield circle, make the trot bigger first. Okay. So it might be on the wall, forward trot, no message. Turn the circle a little bit more forward in leg yield. Okay. Canter. Canter from the rising trot. That will help him too. Okay. The minute he canters, leg yield a bit steeper so he goes back to trot and then yeah. back on the wall, forward, no message. Okay. And you just build and build and build on that. If you don't see huge results within like the first five rides, ask questions again, maybe send a video in. Okay. Yeah? yeah. But it should be a big difference in about five rides. Okay. But the big key is, is don't support him. So where the where it's crooked in the front, you just have to let go of the hand that he's holding. Okay. You just have to let go of it. Because if yeah. you don't let go, he'll just be supported by it. And that's and that's how he but if you let it go, he'll be unsupported and he'd have to solve it another way. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Does that make that a bit of sense? sense? Yes, yeah, it does. Yeah. When you turn the shoulders and he counter flexes. All that is is you're just not balancing both reins. Okay. So what it is is he wants to counter flex and you're then going, okay, it's, that's it. You know, yeah. that, that really is it. So if you look at my, my, my side here, okay, so you use this rein and he goes, I want to counter flex. Look at my buttons. That's what you're looking at. Yeah. yeah. And this side's just going, okay. But if I do the same thing and I say, this rain and he wants to pull it here but I grab this one and go no he can't yeah so when he looks this way when he looks to the um the right your left rain says no 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 mate no you're not allowed to look that way and it's that it's okay. this it's a balancing act of both sides so if when you use that rain he he looks that way all it means is this rain's inactive it's not doing anything and it is okay. as simple as that analogy. Okay. It, it is that simple. It really is. I know it seems like it shouldn't be, but hopefully Sarah can attest to that now. It is that easy. <laughs> it is. It is. All of these dressage riders make it sound uber complicated. It's not. It's really easy. It's really easy. <laughs> really is. If the horses are sound, it works. And if the horses aren't sound, that's why I say to you, if in five days or so you don't get anywhere, send me a video. Yeah. If the horses aren't sound, that's when you tend to get a problem. And so if in five days you don't have an issue, you just send me. So basically next next week when we do the Q&A, if you're not like, if you're not like um, Sarah and you're like, hell yeah, woo, <laughs> send me a video for okay. this, this Q&A, okay? Because you yeah. should be. I guess we so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try again this time, yeah? And what I want you to think is the, the more that, we'll change the rain as well so it's not always on the same rain. The more that you can't get it, Ashy, the longer you make him, okay? okay? But if you think about that, he's gotta be a big ball of energy. So it's not that he's not cantering because he's not energetic. He's not cantering because the message is wrong. Yeah. So you try to make him like a little bit of a ball. So for your feeling, you could even make him rounder than you think. Okay. Okay? So when you're ready, go back to trot first. So think two legs and bend your elbows a little bit. Think be a bit more arrogant in your riding. Yeah, that's better. Do you feel that? Yeah. And make him a little rounder and just find the train tracks in the rising trot. Good girl. That's super, yeah? Then in the corner, think you've got one step to find the canter. That's it. So next quarter you ask the can, you got one step. Good girl, you got it. Don't worry about that, that's okay. Go back to trot again. So once you lose it, the reason why you lose a little bit is when you canter, you're letting him long again, okay? okay. So trot him around and find both sides of his bit. Get your legs off. So if you want to use them, you go pop and then off again. Pop and then off again, good job. And then you canter here. And then make him rounder when you canter. Good girl, you got it. Canter now, now rounder. That's right. Good girl. Good girl, then rounder when you canter. You got it. You got it. Now rising trot before it's not yours. So stand up. 
Good girl, that's okay. It was really good riding. So then again, feel the balance. Now you feel when you're trotting that his head is in the middle. Do you feel that? Yeah. When you canter, his head comes to the inside, okay? Okay. So when you trot, feel, visualize this feeling. Both, that's it. Do you feel that? Yeah. Then when you canter, I want you to ask for the same thing. A little bit, two legs once. So it says keep going. Two legs once. Good girl. And with your outside leg, when you ask for the canter, it's just a pop and rounder. So when you're ready in the corner, good girl, it's okay. Good girl. Now keep him a little bit to the outside with his head. A little bit to the outside with his head. You got it. Just don't worry about the changes. Good girl. That's super. Now you've got the canter. How does that feel? Really good. Now you got it. Now just start rising to find the trot so that it's yours again. A little rounder with your fingers. Keep his head in the middle. And now you stand up, sit down against his rhythm. A little bit more to the outside with his head. Good girl. Did you feel that? Yeah. And that was a brilliant transition, lovely. Do that again. So in the corner, step once with the canter, pop. It's okay. Good girl. That's much better. Head between the chest, don't let him too long. That's when you're gonna lose the canter. So make him rounder a little in the front. Now you've got it. That's okay. Nice one, Tempies. <laughs> little rounder in the front. Good girl, have him bend to the outside, have him bend to the inside because he's a bit against the bridle. That's better, do you feel that? Don't worry about the one tempies, that's okay. And now rise slower so that he comes to you. That's it, how does that feel, Ashy? Good, feels like a nice trot. <laughs> you got it, good girl. Shorten your reins a bit, change the rein in front of me. So from H down to B for Bob. And really think about your even reins as you do it. That's it. Good girl, as you hit B, you can canter again. But think about your even reins. Your even reins. Good girl, outside leg now, pop. Good girl, it's okay, pop. Right, go back to your rising trot. And think about feeling the roundness. Two, don't ask for canter, just find the trot again. Good girl. Put your inside rein a little bit on his neck. And what I want you to do is that when you go to canter, sweetheart, you're letting his whole body long. So think to yourself that he's a ball, okay? So make him a little rounder in the front, turn his head a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. So give you the feeling of using your rein. Yeah, does that feel better? And then tap with two lefts. That's it, there, do you feel that? Yeah. A little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, and tap with two legs. Again, tap with two legs. There you go, rise quicker than him. Now you're doing better, how does that feel? Nice. Good girl, now keep that feeling as you canter. Little outside leg, keep that feeling. Pop, just your outside, pop. Well that's all right, no, no, abort mission. And try again now, pop. Yeah, so every time you go to canter, sweetheart, you throw your reins away. For your feeling, think if you walk, that's a better mistake, okay? okay. So bend your elbows, go a little bit forward now. More forward, and think my mistake is that I walk. Outside leg back, pop. Good girl, you got it, that was good. Try again, make him round up, two legs again. And then outside leg back, pop. And make my mistake that I walk. Doesn't matter. Good girl, that's good. Try again. Oh, you almost got it again. Every time your reins go floppy like that, he's gonna get confused. So you think, move him a little bit to the inside, a little bit to the outside so that you learn the feeling of the bridle. Good girl, then do that more within the transition. Good girl, that was super, do that again. And do that more within the transition, you got it. Do it again, you're almost there, good girl. Good girl, sweetie. Two legs for forward a bit more. And then when you feel like you've lost it, move the bridle a little bit more. Don't give up. So if you feel he breaks in the canter, don't think you've lost it. Try to salvage it by moving the bridle. Move the bridle, do it again. Canter, and move the bridle. Move the bridle. That's okay, give up now. Trot forward. Uh -huh. Come on, you're right, you're right. Trot forward. Good girl, that's super. A little bit more forward in the trot. More forward again. Very, very good. I'm gonna stop and explain soon, yeah? But see if you can just find it. Just use the bridle, don't use your leg with the pressure. That's better. Good girl. No, don't ask the can until I say. 
Okay, and come to walk and we'll talk about it. Come to walk and I'll talk about it, lovely. Whoop, that's okay, give him a pat. Just walk around us while we're talking, okay? So, what's happening is, on this side, it's a bit your dodgy arm, yeah? yeah? Oh, sorry, we should reiterate, guys, that Ash has a little bit of a dodgy arm on one side, so she struggles to move it. And when that side is your outside rein, it makes a more of an impact than when it's on your inside. That's why she's struggling a bit more on this side to the other side. But at the end of the day, Ashy, the fundamental thing is, is when you go to canter, if you watch your reins, they do this and they flap. Okay. So what he then doesn't understand is that he's no longer a ball. So he doesn't quite understand how to go. And lots and lots of people do this, it's really common, because the more they go slow, or the more they don't go the speed, the tempo or the, the pace that you want them to, the more you start, not you, but in general, start to react. You know, and you start to push and squeeze and let your reins go because you think, I want canter. If he's not going, I gotta let it go. Yeah? Yeah. You've seen me ride the thoroughbred around when I'm jumping around like a crazy person. You, what you actually wanna always do is create a ball. So even on an uneducated horse, if you just let your reins go and they've got no con connection or contact, they're like this then, okay? And then you think for them to canter, they've gotta somehow get from this to that, which is actually quite difficult, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? And I'm actually not talking to the camera, guys. I'm really talking to Ash. So hopefully you guys see it. See, this is real life. But do you get that? Yeah. Yeah? So talk to me about what your feeling is. Um, I feel like I get a stride of canter. Yeah. And then he stops and then I lose all my balance and I just collapse. Ah, so it's not actually that you're doing that on purpose in that moment, it's that you, he throws you out of balance. A bit, yeah. Yeah, okay. So you're not purposefully throw, putting your hands away because you think, oh, he's not cantering. You, um, you um, get thrown out of balance. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, this gives us something to work with. Let's make it a mission. Okay. So what we're gonna do then, Ashy, is we, you can do it on one rein, yeah. where, one, where your balance is better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of like do some lines around the arena that just keep changing direction, which will help you find your balance. Okay. So we're gonna start on the good way, yeah? And yep. we'll canter. And then what we're gonna do is come across the diagonal to say E, yeah? Mm -hmm. Then you'll do a flying change. Yep. Which he'll just do, so don't worry about that. Just change rein and he'll either keep counter cantering or flying change. It does, it's just for you to get the feeling. Yep. And then you'll change the rein to the other direction. Okay. So it'll be like from there to there to there and then we keep going. Okay. okay? And your job is to just keep the front even. Yeah. Because if you start pushing with left or right legs, you're doing it with lack of balance as well. So then he's going to go sideways and, and listen to that. So yeah. if you do want to use your legs, it's a, and then go. A, yeah. And then go. Does that make a bit of sense? Yeah. Okay, so which is our good way? So go the other way. So I'm going from F to E. Is to that the canter way? No, it's the way you can't get, isn't it? So go the other way. Oh yeah, so. Yeah. yeah so you'll so come around F. the corner this way and you'll go F, to E, to M. M. Okay. And if, don't worry about making a change, just keep the canter, even if it's counter canter, that's okay. And then just keep that line going. So then when you come around, you'll go H to B to K. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so go that way now. Pick up your reins again. Think even, think about your train tracks, Ashy, because all of your issues that you're having at the moment are just about balance. It's not your skill, it's not talent, it's just balance, okay? Yeah. Think about even reins, pop them into trot and think quick A, so there you're digging. Think this, Ashy, look at me. Whenever okay. you give legs, just think this. Yeah, that was a good one, otherwise you do this. Yes, how's that feel? Good. Even in your legs, even in your reins. Tap again with two legs, tap. That's it. Keep him a little round and bend your elbows a bit more. In the corner you can canter. I might get Toby to move back over here a little bit so we're out of your way. That's it. And then canter on. Good girl. And then look at, look at E for egg. All right, canter on again. And just look at E. Look at E. Look at E. Good girl. Now keep looking at E. Go forward. Go forward. Good girl. You got a good tempi change. Woo! <laughs> and then look at M. That's okay. 
Okay, so come to walk again. So, you did really well, lovely, but as you came along, get Tobes to follow me for a sec. Amazing tempi changes. You wanted one tempi, you got them, baby. <laughs> again, arms are like this, so therefore yeah. he's not round, yeah? But then when I say look at M, you're doing this. Okay. Yeah? And you think that th doing this, or looking at M, doesn't actually make much difference, you'd be amazed how much difference it makes. So really, look through where you're going. Because otherwise you're here, and then if your buttons are wrong, there's nothing actually helping him to go into the right place. Okay. So even if he's a bit confused by your aid, he doesn't have anything that's telling him where to go. That's why he tries the tempi changes. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so go, just cut the corner to V. Go back to trot and just try that again. All right, so you ready? So we'll follow Ash again now, Tobes. Okay, so again, you're digging with your, your leg. Try to think pop. Think about your evenness in your leg as well. So pop, pop, pop. Good girl. Rounder in the front. Rise quicker than him. Good, and then canter now. When you're ready, one. Yeah, good job. Good job. Rounder. Look where you're going. Look through E. Good girl, look through E. Now go a bit forward, look through. Good girl, no worries, no worries, keep going. Look through E, tap with two legs, tap with two legs. Now look through M, through M. Tap with two legs, through M, through M. Tap with two legs, look through M. Oh, brilliant, baby, keep riding. Look through the wall, look through the wall, look through the wall, look through the wall. Now come back here in front of me, look through V. Look through me. <laughs> Look through me. Change your legs, you'll change. It's okay. Look through. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Keep playing with that now. Just look through where you're going. Now you can go along the wall and see if you can keep it. Look through the end wall. Look through the end wall. Keep his head a bit more in the middle. That's okay. Look through the end wall, no matter what happens. You got it, baby. You got it, baby. Look at you. Have a little rest. That's okay. Have a little rest. That's fine. Wait, wait till you walk so I can scream loud and Wesley's okay. Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yeah. You go from not being able to go anywhere to just looking up. Were you amazed the difference that made? Yeah, it was a huge difference. Crazy, isn't it? I felt more balanced as well. I didn't feel like I was falling as much. 100%. But so do you see what happens is that when something goes wrong, we get so into what's wrong that we forget about the basics. And you forget, you have to excuse me guys, I'm not looking at you all the time. I'm talking, I'm really into, into Ash here. But you see, Ashie, that what happens is, is we get so caught up in what's wrong we don't believe how much the simple basics, remember when you're a kid and they say, look forward, look up. Yeah. Yeah? Those simple basics make a difference and actually work. Yeah. Crazy, isn't it? Huge difference. Yeah? So now, Ashy, I'm not gonna say anything. Okay. Okay? Ride him around as you wish. Okay? Yeah. And I, all I want you to think about is even train tracks in both hands. Okay. Okay? If you wanna use your leg, it's a tap. <laughs> <laughs> and if you get stuck, do nothing else but look further than you're going. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Right, so you try. And of course I'll pipe in if you get stuck. But you do any line you want, play with him and see if you can follow those rules yourself. So already you're digging, think pop with your leg. Pop. So your feeling is even like a kick. That's it, good job. Pop with two legs. Pop again with two legs. You see he's a little stuck. That's better. Good girl. You ride whatever you line you want and I'll just pipe in and give you some advice here and there. A little bit faster than him in the rise. Good job. And I'd go to canter a little bit otherwise you'll get too stuck in the trot. What, so it goes to canter? I would, yeah. Just a little bit. Ah. Good girl. That's okay. Nice front leg there, good one, Whistle. Make him rounder when you lose him. Now look where you're going, tap with two legs once, tap, tap. Good girl, then canter again, then think when I'm cantering, I need to tap once and make him rounder a bit. Good girl, tap once and make him rounder, look where you're going. You got it, tap once, make him rounder, look where you're going. Tap once, make him rounder, look where you're going. 
Tap lines make him good girl. That's okay. Tap lines make him round. Look where you're going. Good job, Ashy. Good job. Keep riding. Now you got it, baby. Change the rein. Good girl. Keep him cantering when you change the rein. Change however he wants to. Oh, good one, Tempies. Good one, Tempies. Look at you go with your one, Tempies. We can't get that many. Good job. Keep riding forward. Look ahead, look ahead, look ahead. So you keep the canter. You got it. Good job. Don't worry about the one, Tempies. Just make, be grateful for the fact you've got going. Good girl. A little bit rounder so he's a bit more on the bit, so he's not above it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Don't worry about the one, Tempies. Or are you doing that on purpose now? No. Good girl. <laughs> Now talk to us about how you're feeling. I know you'll be puffing, but tell us how you're feeling. Um, he feels a lot more forward, not forward, but not stuck. Yeah, that's right. Um, because you're he feels just like he's carrying on... me a lot more. Yeah, because you're just focusing on those little things. Now, what I want you to do is put your both hands forward and make your body very still, and that'll bring the canter smaller, and your leg bumps him off to say keep cantering. So he doesn't, well, that's okay. Good girl. So what right, I'm you can Oh, a little rest. That's okay. Good job. Give him a big pat. How do you feel? I'm good. Much better that I can kind of get it moving a bit more now. Yes. But do you see, you didn't have to try harder. Yeah. Yeah? There was one point where I was looking down and I felt it starting to stick. And the second I looked up, you yeah. moved off. That's amazing, lovely. You walk him off. I'm really proud of you. That was awesome. Do you feel good? Yeah, I feel good. So we didn't get our big fancy second trot today, but we'll find that. Okay. Okay? Because again, if you come here, Tobes, the second trot, guys, the reason why we needed to go to canter is because the second trot requires energy. So until you can teach a horse how to go forward and go in the way that you want them to go, which is their energy underneath them and they're going happily and freely, if you then try to close that, all that's gonna happen is they're either gonna go up in the air and go crazy, or just stop. And Wessel's so sweet, he'll just stop. But we've gotta get that forward first. So that's why today I've got Ash cantering, so we can make sure that she learns how to not get stuck in that hole. Does that make a bit of sense, everybody? Does that make sense to you, Ashy? Yeah, it does. Yeah? Yeah. So what's the biggest take home that you could tell everybody? <laughs> Look up. <laughs> Look up. Look where you're going um, and don't kind of get fixated and kind of crumble. <laughs> yeah. And is that amazing how, like, tell me from a scale of one to 10, 10 being the highest, how important, when I said sit, sit up, how much of a difference did you think that was going to make? Um, I thought it maybe make like a three or a four. And how much did it? <laughs> Probably about an eight or a nine. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Just a simple thing, isn't it? And you think just a simple thing, how can it make such a difference? It does. Yeah. Bravo, you made him puff though. <laughs> I'm also <laughs> puffing. <laughs> oh, good work, lovely, good work. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I'm so proud of you, Ashy. Thank you. Yeah? <laughs> Thanks You're definitely going to see Ashy again because her mission is to do the second trot and I'm going to make it happen. Well, actually, Ash is going to make it happen. So <laughs> how are you feeling about possibly getting to that second trot next Good, time? Good, I'm excited. Yeah. And where do you see some of the front leg action as you go back down to trot? Good. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty <laughs> epic. It's pretty epic. So stay tuned, guys, and we will see Ashy in the next couple of weeks and we will work on that, um, that second trot. But again, remember what the big takeaway from here today is. It's simple lines, get the fancy stuff that you want, okay? Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget about the prizes we've got to do as well. Mwah! Bye, guys. See you.